Good morning, everybody. It's Min and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh, thank God, I don't have to do it. <coughs> As I was saying, good morning, everybody. It's Min and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. Apparently, I could just skip over this thing and go right to this paralogue. So I guess I know what we're doing today. In the last episode, we... So... Why could Lissa only use ladles? Can I turn it into a super ladle? Do I have to like wait for her to like upgrade her thingies so that she could upgrade her like axe abilities so she could become better at using stuff? Is that how it works? So, was me turning her into an axe user a big stinking mistake? I don't know. Well, what was I saying? Hey, it's me, you know the rest. Let's go. But yeah, as you can see, we have a new paralog open up to us that we could access before accessing this one, which is kind of weird. I think I'm going to hold off on that one for now, just because I think I know what's coming up next. So, instead, we're going to go over this way, see what we got in these shops. We have Steel Sword and Elixir and another second seal. Take your time. Uh, let's see. I don't think we need it, but an Elixir could be nice, so we'll just take it. Go over to this one, an iron sword, and master seal, don't really care. A steel bow and ham hammer. Uh, repairs adjacent allies equipment, oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, speaking of equipment, I, I gotta re-equip some people. Robin's dangerously low on thunder, good to know. Okay, now that's taken care of, 17 minutes into the recording. What are we doing again in the last episode? We did a buttload of crazy stuff. In this episode, we're going to do even more buttloads of crazy stuff. Like communication sessions, hooray, with Crom and Frederick. Oh, the bestest of buddies. My deepest apologies, my lord. Had I known you'd run it from the tent to tent, re rending the posters, I never would have. Gods, I've never been so embarrassed in all my days. My sister nearly pulled a muscle laughing. Listen, Frederick, we need to talk. I know everything you do is for my sake, and I appreciate it, but still. Well, at times, it's a little extreme, and other times, it's darn near traumatic. I'm a grown man, Frederick, and I'm capable of taking care of myself. No, tis not my place to doubt your capability, my lord, but I have duties as a knight. If anything were to happen to you or Lissa, I couldn't. I don't know if I could stand it. Really? But you do see the difference between being a knight and being a nanny. Forgive me. I'm sorry, my lord, but I would risk your embarrassment rather than forsake my duty. Hmm. Fine, fine, let's try this again. Let's pretend you're my lord, and I'm your loyal knight. Now, let's say you sneeze. Just one little sneeze. Suddenly I came dashing along with, to you with a blanket and tea in hand. Or, let's imagine you make an offhand remark about how fish sounds good, and I ride across two mountains to a freezing river to secure dinner. Or, heavens, preserve us! Let's suppose you look tired, or perhaps even yawn, so I bring a parade of increasingly arcane herbal cures to your tent for the next hour. How would that make you feel? My lord, I... I would be enraged, my lord, and humiliated. You see, at some point, such assistance becomes a burden. I respect your sense of duty as a knight, but you must be sane about it. You waste too much time and energy on my sister and myself, and it saddens us. If you want to make us happy, take some time for yourself. Relax, enjoy your life. Right. Is that an order, sire? Right. <sighs> if it was, I've no doubt you would obey without question. But that would defeat the point. It's not an order, Frederick. It's a request from one friend to another. Lord, 
Very well. If it is your wish, I shall limit my actions to a bare minimum. I apologize for any trouble my efforts may have caused until now. Good. Thanks for understanding. And for your dedication. Ah. It is my pleasure to serve, my lord. Or er, that is, within reason. I sick and love the Frederick and Crom sessions. Oh my god, I can't wait to see what rank A is all about. That's the only one we got, okay. Well, we could go to Paralog 5. Honestly, that might be a bit better for us because I want to get Olivia maxed out. Or just to level 10 so I could switch her class. But... Huh. I know we'll have no problem taking care of this next chapter, so... Hmm. I kind of want to just... Actually, you know what? We got two more uses of Katarina's Bold. I'd rather use it on an intense chapter like this one rather than an optional pair log. So for that reason, we're going to go over here. Pair it with chapter 15. Plus, it also just makes sense on the map. It's kind of weird that we would go here and then go all the way down here. So for that reason, we'll do chapter 15. Story progress! Huzzah! At last, Valm Harbor. Hmm, it appears well fortified. Prepare the troops. We'll... Oh, what's that? Right. An alteration? Altercation? That woman. The Valmese dogs are running her down. <clears throat> and any enemy of theirs is a friend of ours. Come on. Looks like we gotta save somebody. Uh, okay. Good group as it is. Uh, just a matter of what order do I want to put everyone in. Uh, there's some sparkly warkabees right here in the ocean. That's nice. Uh, for this character, do we even see them? They're all the way up there. It might be another instance in which Krom needs to get to them ASAP, but we can't move Krom great. But we know who can move Krom a bit quicker. We'll do that. Uh, by the way, for Lissa, I went ahead and gave her a bronze axe. So yeah, she does start out with a rank E axe user, but the more she uses her axe, the more she'll be able to upgrade it. So later on, she'll get stronger axes and she'll be more powerful. Uh, as you can see, they're actually blue. The ladle and the bronze axe are blue. I went and got them forged, so I increased their mount hit and criticalness. So it makes them a bit more powerful. Not super great, but not as terrible as they would be at their base form. So it was a good use of forging, I would say. Uh, I guess Robin and Lissa, since we're close to maxing that one out. Uh, Olivia, who do I want you with? I guess, like... Actually, yeah, check the supports. Who does Olivia have communications with? All the guys, of course. She could talk with pain. That's it? Just pain? I was hoping it would be with Tharjo or... No E, but no E. Uh, how about Cherish? Uh, check the supports for her. She could talk to No E. Okay. And then Tharja. She's only interested in guys, it seems. Now that she's only interested in guys, it's just that uh, all the girls can marry guys. So, like, the only girl she would be interested in talking to is Robin, because... Wait, no, Robin and Noe. Okay. So, for that reason... We're putting Cherish with Noe. guess they're close already. Sumia with... Eh, let's just go for it, see what happens. That was a long stinking huff and puff. Who is that? The Elysian League. So they have finally landed. Over here. We have her cornered. <laughs> Confound these wretched Imperials. Don't let her get away. So she left the battlefield. No, she's still there. I think we just need to have right. Krom talk to her. Our first priority is to hurry and save that woman.
If possible, we should also visit the homes here to see how the people fare. So I think Krom's the only one who could talk to her, so we're going to have him team up with Frederick so they can get an early lead on all the action. And what the heck? Uh, hello? There you go. I was just uh, switching around when I was checking stats and whatnot. Huh. Let's just go. Pick a garden. Yay! Frederick's gonna heal me with the greatest line in the game! Oh, I love you so much, Frederick. Oh, that line. <laughs> that line's the best. Pick a god and pray. Alyssa, can you kick butt now? Not quite. Ew. Ew. Um. Oh, that's a bit better. It's just that that guy's an armored unit, so it wasn't that great. Uh, let's go here? How about... God darn it, I wanted, like, one more space. Oh, I should have moved Olivia up further. Um, because she would have actually been able to use her dance to our advantage. Oh, I know, how about this? How about... So no he's going to be with Cherish. How about we'll put them here? Just so they can pick this up. Uh, she got 13 experience. How nice. And then you're going to dance for Cherish. Just so we can get the... Oh, that's cool on the little ocean. Hey, she's dancing with the near the ocean's gray waves. Her, her, her. Like, it's a good song and all, but does it have to be literally the only stinking song they play in the entire stinking game? Oy. I guess we'll do that. So we got a dragon, or a manichetti, and a wyvern teaming up. Pretty cool, I guess. At least, uh, no, he has a new dragon buddy to play with. Uh, Pain and Tharja. Kind of a weird pairing, but whatever. And, wow, that, that mobility, though. I think it's the sand, so as soon as we get them out of here, we'll be able to actually make some headway. Why can't Lucina team up with Anna? Wait, she can, but... I don't know. Also, why did I pair... Oh, I'm stupid. I want... Pain. Thank you. I want pain! Give it to me! Uh... Guess we'll do that. And then... Wow, Anna. Anna's becoming kind of a liability, and I don't like that. I gave her Erica's blade. That might not have been the best decision. I don't know, it just seemed like a cool weapon to give her. I wish he had a killing edge, but we can't buy those yet. Guess we'll switch to Lucina for now. I'm right here. Good. Okay, Lucina's almost at level 20, which is insane. We'll have to upgrade her class soon. Got a hammer. Alyssa. Uh, I wish you could KO this guy. I'm really worried. I guess we can't have her grow without experience, so let's see what we got. Okay, good, she dodged. And Robin finished him off, great. So Alyssa gets a level up, very much needed. And Robin, okay, I thought it was Alyssa got to level A, I was like, what? But no, she got rank A tomes, which is really cool. Uh, this girl, however, Sayri. That's not good. She's already took 10 damage. Couldn't even counterattack. At least she could dodge. Oh, an armored unit. This isn't good! I think Lissa could heal it herself, so we don't have to worry about uh, her too much. But then if she uses a turn healing, she can't actually... Oh, I was hoping you would say. She can't actually attack the same turn as well, so I guess that's what Olivia's for, though. I'm somewhat doing strategy right. I don't know. I'm somewhat good at these types of games. Like, I can only imagine how I would fare in the older Fire Emblem games where if a character dies, they're gone for good. Like, my god, I would not seem to survive. Let's see, we got that. Uh, Frederick's actually kind of low on HP. That's kind of scary. Thank you for defending her. I love watching her just jump with the axe. 
Uh, and Robin's a bolt rogue. I got her an L Thunder, though. We could buy those in stores, thankfully. Frederick, you're living on the danger zone. Not used to that. Usually, you're always kicking butt. Oh, boy. Okay, thank you for no damage. Okay. And what level are you, Frederick? Level 11. It's crazy that, like, he's such a low level. Like, we could upgrade him now if we want to, but we miss out on some stats and abilities and whatnot. Thank you, Krom. The pairings, as usual, are saving us in most cases. Does she not have a weapon? That's why she's getting hurt so badly. She doesn't have a weapon. Huh. Does anyone have a sword that we could give her? Oh, I didn't even think of that. I didn't prepare. Oh, we do have a bronze sword, but that's about it. Maybe we should use the rapier. I don't know. Um. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy if we can. Yes, we could. Whatcha? So yeah, what else has happened recently that like, I could talk about? Like, I got like a lot of obscure, not obscure Switch games, but like stuff that's been on my radar that I know a lot of other people aren't talking about. I got a game called The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. It had a really cool art style, so I kind of wanted to go and get it. And what's cool about it is that the pre-order edition, it came with like a buttload of stuff. It came with like a physical storybook, which looks super stinking adorable. And I really liked it, so uh, that's cool. It's just that I need to get around to actually playing that. What's that? Okay, whatever. Uh, can you finish off? Yes, you could finish off this guy, but I want you to heal him as well. Where's Olivia? She used her turn already, didn't she? Wait, did she? No, Olivia's right down here. <laughs> well, that's not going to be helpful. Uh, we'll just put Tharja here, I guess. Have you dance? Just get a little bit of movement out of there and get some experience in the process. Oh, there's a 69. What was I even talking about? I don't even remember. I got Liar Prince of the Black Prince. I got Remy Lore, which is a uh, Atlas game or Nicholas game. Kind of princess creator game, basically. Gameplay looked kind of cool, so I went for it. Uh, what now? Tharja can't do much. I guess she could be a meat shield. That sometimes is, that sometimes is helpful. Uh, I guess wait here. Frederick dying is not something I'd want to happen. He can make good ground no matter what, so I'm going to. Prop him down here. Or do I switch to Krom? Nah, no, that's dangerous. I mean, like... Well, he, they're on horse... Oh, god darn it. I want to get there right now, but I can't. I'll just have to wait a bit. Uh, but is she going to be okay? Just keep on relying on those dodges. Okay. And go for Tharsha. Uh, Tharsha and Noe team up. That's very good. Get those boosts. Oh, she was very happy, it seems. Kind of wish she could transfer the Nosferatu HP to other characters, but that would be way too powerful. And speaking of way too powerful, like, they're just a perfect sing and tag team, the two of them. So, I guess now that we're finally in the relationship segment of Fire Emblem, uh, we can talk about the fact that, uh, as you saw when we maxed out knowing Tharja, there was no option for them to reach an S rank and get married. I guess I can understand when, like, because, um, the game has such a large emphasis on the children units, if you had a same-sex marriage, then... Like, it's not impossible, obviously, like, the, ch the child could still come from somewhere, and they could explain that, so I guess it's not really a good reason, but... I know a lot of people, like, complain about how some of these characters are written and whatnot, and I won't deny that there are some problematic, uh, characters in, uh, some certain Fire Emblem games, but, like, and just sort of how their sexuality is handled, like, it's, like, they're trying to give 
LGBT representation, but they do a very poor job at it. But like, I don't think it's entirely problematic that they make, that they don't make every single character uh, possible to be paired up with every single other character, because like, if they envision these characters to be uh, one sexuality and not another, then like, I don't think there's something entirely wrong with that. I feel like the main character, like the player character, the avatar, should always be uh, bisexual. Like, that should just always be a thing, because it's you who are creating this character and interpreting them and uh, how they are and who they are. So I feel like they should always be able to marry whoever, but it I don't think it's entirely wrong to have them being uh to have like the characters that have fully fledged personalities to not be attracted to every single character just for the sake of shipping. Plus, like I said, I never I wasn't really into the whole shipping aspect of Fire Emblem in general, so uh and in other games it gets like ten times weirder, so um sort of just okay with it uh the way it is. What am I trying to do? Like, as soon as I come up with something to talk about, I'm just like, I get at a standstill and I don't know what to do. Uh, let's just go over here, see if I can attract their attention. Wait, does that only said one more? God darn it, I need more Lance Juice. Uh, Tharja has a... I mean, I guess I'll trade you my Glass Lance that you could use later. Huh. How about... Wait, uh, Cherish is level 19, that's cool. Or 18. Or is it 19? I can't even tell. Um, she's close to being able to upgrade her class. I should probably start thinking about that. Who is this sloppy of you, Cherish? She kicked butt. Uh, Noe's Dragonstone broke. That's problematic. And she has a seal lance. God diggity darn it. Oh, I should give that to Frederick. Uh, I'm always the most prepared in the universe. Uh, dance to Lissa. Nice save. Nice save. Is she gonna level up? Level 9. Very close to changing her class finally. I don't know if I'll entirely miss the dance feature, but whatever. Could get rid of this guy, Lissa. Just keep on kicking butt, because you gotta play catch up. Oh, hey! A critical with Lissa! Something we couldn't really see before. Yeah, I'm very much happy that I could actually use her in battle now. She's a million times more useful. And she can still heal, which is nice. I'm basically trying to turn her into a new Libra. Um, Like, that just puts them way too close to all these other dudes, so... I think I'm going to just, like, encourage them to come to me. Let's see what we got. Let's look at these guys. Oh, man. Keep on dodging. We're almost there, hopefully. Still got to break away in there. Kind of like that Frederick's the only one going over there right now. No, he has the Steel Lance, so that's kind of bad. Could just switch over to Krom, though, so it might not be the worst thing in the world. Uh, Long Ku still keeps on kicking butt as usual. Acceptable. You say so. So, yeah, we got Noe uh, no longer usable, which is kind of bad, though. Ally phase, can't do anything, yay! How about... Can we make it over that we can't? We could... Tr wow, this is gonna be stupid. Trade... The Steel Lance to Tharja... And then Tharja trade... The Steel Lance to Frederick... I am so stupid. And then Frederick comes over here and murders everybody! Uh, I should just have him switch to that right now so we don't run out and then automatically go to a sword afterwards. Are you ready? Not done yet. Think again. 
Okay, so at least we got that underway, and Frederick will take make quick work of all those dudes. Uh, but now what do we want to do? I guess we could dance to get them over here. Uh, the boss is right over there, so these guys are just slowly making their way back up here. Hmm. Let's dance, I guess. Just get them moving some more. That felt good. Uh, those are spears. Switch to chairs. Doesn't even matter because no, he can't attack. Uh, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this so stinking hard. Oh, what do we have here? A reeking box. Calls risen to the world map. Oh, that makes it so we could actually off-screen train. I forgot about that item. Uh, do I want to jump over here and heal? But then all these guys are going to show up. Uh, he can't move, though. So, can't move all that well, at least. They're not that low on HP, so let's just get ready for a, for the counterattack, basically. Guess? I guess? <laughs> How do I mend myself? I guess you can't? I don't know. Let's see what we got. Still need to get rid of this guy. Oh boy. Ah, oh, from a distance? No! Thank you for missing. Thank you for missing. Okay, Olivia, this ain't good. Thank you, though, you missed. Wish you got experience for dodging, but no. A lot of singing damage. I think she's actually holding her own now. I'm really excited to finally use Olivia, though, because like it's already turned out good with Lissa. Now that I actually gave her a weapon, now it's just a matter of uh, as soon as that class changes. Go and do that now. Yeah, you're back. Ha cha ha cha. Very, very nice. Level up. I want to see if I get a uh, chair to level 20. Make quite a bit of progress. No, that's not how you say chair. She's supposed to say, no, that's what I call progress. Don't oh, she has the hammer equipped. That's a lot of damage. Do not like that. Switch to Krom. Talk to this girl. My gratitude. Prince Krom of the Elysian League, you have my gratitude. Hmm? You know of our cause? Hmm. Of course. I would speak with you more, but first, perhaps... Hmm. Ah, yes. Time enough for that once the fighting is finished. And that's all it took. So, switch to Frederick and trade over a weapon to her if we can. She's a swordsman. Unfortunately, we got is the. Oh, we know we have a steel sword, but she can't use it. It seems. Wait, can she use it? Oh, uh, let's see. Items. She can equip the steel sword. Very nice. So this character, Sayri, she is awesome. I have like very fond memories of her just getting critical hits on every stinking enemy. And also dodging like nuts. Like, no one could ever stink and hit her. I know she has damage already, but it's crazy. I just remember her dodging literally everything, never taking damage. So, like, it's incredibly rare to see her go down in battle. So, I am very happy that we finally have her on our team. And she's going to be kicking a lot of booty in the process, which I'm excited for. Uh, let's see. She's a swordsman, so there's no axe users around, though. Let's see what we can do. It's time to see what I could do to test the limits and break through. Huh. I really gotta switch out that weapon for Anna. Like, she only works good with base swords, it seems. Either that or I just don't know anything about these other swords. Why can't we all just have killing edges like Long Q? I know you can buy them eventually, but I just don't know which chapter. 
lets you finally get them and be like, oh, just stock up on all them killing edges. Uh, Alyssa versus the boss here, right? Uh, Bowie. Guess we'll go over here. Yeah, that's only like four damage. Two for one. Hello, Anna. Way to go. Oh yeah, I forgot I was trying to get Cherish up to level. Oh well, Lucine is also at level twenty uh, soon, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we'll do that. Um, no, I probably could have given that to Olivia. God darn it. Another steel sword. I wish Olivia could take them. Oh, no, they only get, they use zero damage, so. Let's go ahead and do that, I guess. As usual, Tharja just murders everyone. I hope we could buy Nosferatu soon. I might want to switch to Katarina's Bolt just because it's such a useful thing. I want to lose it. I guess we'll heal Lucina just so we get some experience in some way with Lissa. I'm a good let's player. Dance, dance, dance. Uh, go over here. Get rid of this guy soon enough. Count that Sayri could fight back. Get rid of that guy, no problem, on her own. And of course, you're going to attack from an angle. But no, he can't even transform into a dragon in like defense mode because she doesn't have the dragon stone anymore. Now we're just going to make our way over here. I guess you two could get paired up. Pretty sure Sayri could only do communication sessions with Robin, which is kind of weird, but uh, whatever. Uh, Miss Attack could lead to a, a deadly encounter. I think we won't have to worry about that. Victory. And up next. Oh boy, a lot of dudes are showing up. Let's go this way I guess do we want to fight all these guys like there's no point not to like it's just free experience so I should I suppose and the boss isn't actually like gonna be doing anything so it's fine uh -oh. no need to worry there this guy oh hello Anna I just feel like like it looks like she has like pointy ears or whatever that's just like the spacing between her ponytail or whatever it's really funny. Uh, thank you for the defense, Tharja. Very much appreciated. Now up next, Olivia. Can you ever attack anyone? It doesn't seem like it. Uh, I guess we'll just have Sari go to town on all these people. No, so we're home for a critical. Uh, not quite. Oh well. Um, let's go and I guess bring Tharja or Cherish over here. Do the dance. Make a little bit of love. Get down tonight. Thank you. Very, very close to leveling her up. So let's see if she could get that in this chapter. And we're good. So I'll have to start thinking of what I want to change her to. All in a day's work. Uh, I'm not going to be changing classes in this episode. Just because we're kind of discombobulated enough as it is. So now Lucina, I'm going to have her stand over here and get ready to fight those guys. And this could end poorly. Oh no. Oh geez, that's a lot of sinking damage. Okay, at least Robin did a buttload right there. And thankfully they're still slow as molasses. Uh, that's not good. 
switch, staff, heal, Lissa, now. Yes, Only 16, jeez. Oh, God darn, it's not enough. Hmm, no one else can heal. And I doubt she's going to do 9 damage in one hit, so we're probably going to switch to Robin, unfortunately. Alright. At least Robin gets a level up in that. Get everybody uh, further down. Uh, I guess we'll bring them over here. Dance so we can get experience. And I guess that's it for now. Waddle, waddle, waddle. My god, that was like a triple stinking combo. Maybe this blade does have its uses. And we got a Steel Lance, which is nice, but not for Anna. Things are actually turning out A-OK -okay for once. Oh, I can get that Arc Thunder! Yeah, buddy! Oh, but who, who could get it, though? Olivia, can you ever do any damage? My god. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. At least we get to dance and have them get finished off. Or she could actually just do it right there. Good job, Lissa. Got, got an Arc Thunder. Bring to the convoy. Uh, Olivia. It's unfortunate, but can't do a whole lot. Also, sorry if I was like cutting stuff out. It was just like I, uh, I'm finding all these optional enemies and like wasn't like pushing us towards the map or anything like that. We already got the boss unlocked. It's just like kind of can be considered off-screen training when you think about it. So I kind of just wanted to take it out a bit so we didn't make the video too long because this uh, series is already really singing long and as it is and I'm starting to like this blade a lot more how many stinking hits do you get with that thing my god all right forget about it I don't care if it does little damage he just jabs away at it like crazy uh, we're gonna heal chairs just so we get some experience with Lissa wow that was a lot and one more level up for good measure. Okay, now that's taken care of. It's boss time. Battle time. Bubba boss time. Kick a combo breaker. I'd like Lucina to do it just because she's close to a level up. So we'll switch to her. Or not close to well. I was I meant to say close to level 20, but she's not. She's at 18. That. Just everyone's coming after this guy. He ain't gonna survive this. Let's see what we got. 23 damage. I know with Crazy Anna on our side, uh, we might be able to get away with it. And if not, then Olivia, could you reach us? No, you can't. Uh, let's just have you over here and end the turn okay so now you could double duty us lord live the emperor death to all who oppose it what are you shadow the hedgehog okay let's see what we got <laughs> no damage double duty great go ahead and dance And one more level up for Olivia. We could finally change her class. I'm tempted to do it early just because, oh boy, it's rough keeping her uh, as a dancer. I'm right here. You will not stop me. I may fall, but we are the, oh, the horse, I'm sad. You cannot stop the conqueror. The conqueror? Oh God, don't tell me he's here too. Pew, 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 pew. 
The strength serves more than me alone. And we got a Master Seal. Robin and Lissa are the MVPs. Unlikely duo. Merci, friends. The tales of your strength were no exaggeration. I am called Sayli, and I fight with the Resistance. What? So there is an organized resistance? Right. I of sorts. Several groups formed to seek liberty for the set dates of Valm. Really? I thought the Emperor had stamped out all dissenters. I. He tries, but we resistance are a slippery lot. We strike hard and then vanish again into the dark of the night. Even now, rebels ride to the banner of Dynas across the continent. United, we could pose a veritable threat to Walmart. And so, for some time, I have struggled to bring us together. <sighs> What's stopping you? Mm -hmm. Greed, jealousy, sloth, all the old weaknesses of man. The dynasts of all would have freedom, but on their own terms. Some refuse to take up arms unless their territory is threatened. Others thrive in the conqueror's heel and will not join unless there is profit in it. Liberty is a fine world, I but not always enough to rouse men from foolishness. Oh my. I take it you're looking for a more convincing argument then. Right. Just so. Although my efforts thus far have met with meager success. I fear many distrust me because my father fights with Walmart. Hold on. Why does he support the Empire? <clears throat> with that I knew, good sir. Yenfrey was a good man once. But he is my brother, no more. If we meet on the battlefield, I would cut him down, same as any other Imperial. Walmart is said to command a million men now, perhaps more. Sooner or later, he will stamp out the resistance entirely if we do not unite. What? Um, Krom, did she just say she has a million soldiers? Aye. And what to her one million men against the Elysian dogs of war? You stopped a thousand of their ships, did you not? Your, your daring strategy has awoken and inspired people across all of Valm. Together, I know we could yet unite the resistance and break Walmart's grip. Help me, Prince Krom. I beg of you. My lord. This is no easy thing for you to ask me. I have my own causes. A hell done to save the future and win. I know a great battle has been foretold, but is this it? How to know? Still, I admire your courage. Perhaps your mission is the best way to achieve mine. So yes, Seiri, I will join your cause with my own. And if I'm wrong, it's my life on the line. As it should be. Now, what will it take to unite your people? My gratitude. Well, I do have one idea. Remember to take breaks, yes, and, uh, well, you heard the boss, time to take a break. Possibly, I might do that, uh, paralogue before ending this recording session, but for now, we are done. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we are going to meet my least favorite child in the entire game. Yeah, get ready to be salty. I know all y'all really like him, but I sing and despise him. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.